What's up everybody? My name is Craig, aka The Rock, also known as The People Streamer. And today I'm gonna show you how to add Fortnite Tracker or Call of Duty Tracker into your stream using OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Now for this one, I'm using OBS. So right, right now, I'm gonna pull up my display capture just to show you my screen. Then we're gonna go to Google. In Google, we're gonna type in tracker.gg. Click enter. Now we're gonna click the first link that says tracker network. Now the two ones I'm gonna show you is Fortnite and Call of Duty. Of course you can use all the ones, but we're gonna focus on these two for now. So let's start off with Fortnite. So right over here, it says enter your epic name. I'm gonna type mine in, obviously type yours in. Mine is the rock 7373 and then click enter. Boom. So as you scroll down, you're gonna see your wins, your percentage, your kills, your KD. So this is what we want. Now, in order to get that, you're gonna go up top, right in the link, and you're gonna copy right that. Now, you're gonna go right back into your OBS, go into your sources. At the bottom, it says it's a plus sign, you're gonna click it. Now, you're gonna to go to where it says browser, it's at the top. Now, right here where it says create no, for intents purposes for this video, we're gonna call it Fortnite Tracker. And then click okay. So first thing you're gonna see is this big blue thing pop up. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna click okay for now, pull it to the side, resize it a little bit, bam. Now, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go right back into this, uh, the link that says Fortnite Tracker. Double click it first. Now where it says URL, you're gonna delete that and you're gonna paste the link that you have. Now once you paste the link, you're gonna go down where it says width and height. Your width should be 800, but more importantly, your height should be 1200. So you're gonna delete that six and you're gonna put a 12. Now, after you do that, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom. You're gonna see a little box next to refresh browser when scene becomes active. You're gonna click the box. Now, the reason why that is so important is so for every single time you win, it updates naturally. And click OK. All right, now the, the whole page shows up. So you don't want all of this. Now, the best way to show the part that you actually need what you want to do, you want to go right back into your sources where it says Fortnite Tracker. This time, you're going to right click it. Now, at the bottom, it says Filters. You want to click that. So, right over here where it says Effect Filters, you're going to click the plus sign. You're going to go into Crop Pad. Boom. You're going to click OK. Now, I've already done the math for you so it's so much more easier so just type in these exact numbers okay give me a second let me pull out the people's cell phone okay there it is so now for left you want to type in 30 for top you want to type in 945 and for your right you want to type in 40 for your bottom you want to type in 150. So I repeat, the numbers are for left, 30, for top, 945, for right, 40, for bottom, 150. Okay, so now it's, it shows it to you a lot more cleaner. You're going to click close. Bam. Now here it is. You have it right here. So what I personally like to do, I put it under my camera under my social media i keep it close by so when you, whenever someone comes into the stream they can see it automatically so one thing you can do you can rescale it you can pull it in and let it match up now let's see how that looks take off my display capture click close and then bam there it is all right, you can put it anywhere on the screen if you want. If you want it to be big and bold so multiple people can see it, you can put it at the bottom, you can drag it out, bam, and have it right there, okay? Now, so that's the first one. So what we're gonna do, that's the Fortnite tracker, we're gonna show you the Call of Duty one right now. I'm gonna hide this scene, I'm gonna pull back my display capture up. 
we're gonna go right back into the internet so for this time we're gonna once again we're gonna type in tracker.gg and this time we're gonna go to call of duty so the cool thing about this one is that you can select any Call of Duty game that you want to. Right now, the most recent Call of Duty is this one, Modern Warfare. I'm going to type in my Activision name or my Xbox name. My Xbox name is the same as my Activision, which is The Rock 7373. You can input yours. Click OK. Bam. Now it shows my lifetime stats wins kills and kill death ratio this is what i need so once again we're going to go up top we're going to copy that link we're going to go right back into obs boom now we're going to go right into your sources once again click the plus sign go to browser and this one we're going to call it cod tracker so cod tracker and click OK. I already have one, so we're going to call it just COD. And click OK. Now, once again, we're going to press OK again just to pull the blue thing right over to the side, make it a little bit smaller. Bam. Now, the very first thing you're going to do once again is double click it. Uh, right where it says URL, you're going to delete that. Press Control V. Paste it. Now for the width, the width is going to be 800. Now for the height, instead of 600 or 1200, we're going to put actually 8 as well. So width 800, height 800. And then you're going to scroll to the bottom once again and click the refresh browser. Boom. Now we're going to click OK. So here it is. It's showing the whole screen once again. And we're going to do the same thing like we did with the Call of Duty tracker. We're going to right click it. Go to filters. We're going to click the plus sign. Go to crop pad. Click OK. Now, I've also done the math for you. Let me pull up the people's cell phone once again. All right, here it is. Now, for the left, it's 35. For the top, it's 635. 635. For the right, it's going to be 110, 110. Now for the bottom, it's going to be 70. Bam. There it is looking nice, clean, and neat. Okay. Again, you can rescale this to your like it. It's completely up to you. Once you've done that, you click OK. Now I have it right here. I'm going to put it anywhere on the screen you want. Again, me personally, I like to put it under my screen. So I'm going to match it up. With my social media tab, rescale it a little bit. Uh, if I want it to drag it up, I can also use the directional keys up. Bam. Now let's check it out. Let's see how it looks. Let me take off my display capture. Let me close it. And then bam. There it is. Wins, win percentage, kills, and your KD. There you go, guys. That simple. If you like this video, don't forget to like subscribe click the notification all the above and type in the comments if there's anything you want to learn or know about in the future thanks guys